Thanks for joining us today for our winter body scrub craft. This scrub will help exfoliate your skin and help with dry hands, knees, and feet. We'll be using the science of infusion today, which means we'll be extracting the medicinal and healing properties of the herbs that we use. For the actual scrub, all that we're going to need is kosher salt, sunflower oil, and rosemary. Rosemary has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant compounds that help boost your immune system and help with blood circulation. If you don't have rosemary, you can also use a combination of sage, mint, and eucalyptus leaves. Sage is high in antioxidants, and mint and eucalyptus are soothing and are also anti-inflammatory. The other things that we'll need for this craft are a cutting board and knife, cheesecloth, a measuring cup, two glass jars, a bowl, a spatula, a strainer, a pot or a pan, and a heat source. Let's get started. We'll be working with knives and heat in this step so make sure to be careful. The first thing we're going to do is remove the leaves from our rosemary. We do not want to have any of the stems included. Then we'll chop up the leaves nice and fine. When our rosemary is all chopped up, we're going to add it to our pot with about three cups of our sunflower oil and put it on a very low heat to infuse the oil with the medicinal properties of the rosemary. We do not want this to simmer at all. A simmer looks like it's boiling or that there's heat rising from the pan. This is going to take about an hour. After our hour is up, then we'll be straining. When our oil is all infused, we're going to strain it with a strainer and some cheesecloth. We'll keep the oil and discard the cheesecloth and the leaves. Our next step would be to put two cups of our salt in a larger bowl. Now we'll put our oil over top of our salt and mix thoroughly until the salt absorbs the oil. We might not need all of the oil for this step. In our case here, we have a little bit extra oil, so I'm going to put some more salt in. If you have a little bit too much oil, you can either drain it off or continue adding salt. The last thing that we need to do once our scrub is all ready and infused is put it into our glass jars. 
This recipe should make about enough for two 300 milliliter jars at the end. Make sure to label them with the name of your scrub. To use this scrub, take a small amount in your hands and rub over your body thoroughly. Wash off in the sink with a damp cloth or apply the scrub before a shower. The scrub will last about one year.